Hello guys, welcome to my new video today. I um today for shall be showing you my records I bought in October. It's coming early because I don't have any plans to buy any records at the um the weekend. But yeah, um, anyway, yeah I've got um a few records to show you. Some brilliant select some brilliant um Albums I bought, some really good ones, some good ones, yeah. I'm going to start with um, Banana Rama, the True Confessions LP, probably um, second favourite, with my favourite self titled one. Uh, but yeah, this is a good thing. I don't want to use sleeves. But yeah, I checked the other sleeves, there's not much on it. So. I love to get the self-titled version on vinyl, the self-titled album, which is um, my favourite. The second one, I'm glad to have their first four albums then. And then we'd be ready for Banana Month, which will be soon, which I will try and do in the middle of November, Banana Month, and um, yeah, due to their comeback. This next one I bought in a charity shop in Age Cumbria for about £2. It was a um, really good record in my opinion. I was happy to pick it up, and it is um, Elton John, Caribou, without the cover. <laughs> but it's not bad, I'd love to try and find a cover, if anyone has a cover for it. Please, if you can, donate it to Sean if you've got a spare cover for it. But yeah, the record's fine, the record's looking near mint. It's not a complaint, it's got some good ones, it's got a bitch's back, and you've got... Um, Don't let the sun go down on me, you know, you've got a lot of ones. Ticking's a really good one. I think it is a good song for that one. I forgot to say about the Banana Rama album, sorry. Um, to say about that, um, yeah, True Confessions is good, yeah, Trick of the Night, yeah, that's a classic. Venus, yeah, Don't Disturb is one of my personal favourites, very underrated. More than physical, the album version's better than the single version, in my opinion. Uh, this album is mainly produced by Jolly and Swain, but some tracks are produced by Stock Aiken and Waterman. And they're not bad Stock Aiken and Waterman songs, I must add. Mm. These next four I bought in um, the record fair. Oh, which I was going to buy my last update. Um, right, it's right with that same guy I bought the Petrol Boys and OD records from. But he had some great stuff here. Some brilliant. Some good Elton. And some really good finds as well. And one I was so spellbound. So shocked to find. Now, this one, the first one is Elton John, Sleeping with the Past. This is a fantastic Elton John album. Probably his best 80s album, in my opinion. I think um, this is when he sort of came back after all the drugs and that. And sort of came back into popularity. And it has some fantastic singles on this. Uh, Sacrifice and um, you know, Club at the End of the Street and Healing Hands are all really great Elton songs. So yeah, that's a fantastic record. I've listened to most of it. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Uh, next we got the very best of Elton John on vinyl. I was having to find this about seven pound fifty. The last one was about um seeing the past was about three pound I think three three pound three or four pound I think it was. But it's brilliant. But this was this was good. I got this because I wanted the songs off it really. But I'm gonna hold this this because I've had to. They came out like the nineties, so it you know it's a bit maybe go a bit rare someday. But yeah, there you go. I got this on CD already, but I wanted it on vinyl for myself. I can play it in the bedroom. Fantastic record. Um, I'll show you. Yeah, what was it? That's what the main sleeve would look like. So yeah, that's what the sleeve, both both of them sort of look mainly identical, look just about identical. Yeah. The, but I have a problem with this, it doesn't contain um, the two tracks on the CD that aren't on this, which is a shame. I don't want to go on viewer like that, it's not on here for some reason. That's a classic in my opinion. The next one was a major shock to find, it's about £10 on vinyl, it goes about 25 on eBay. Original pressing, couldn't believe I found it, it was just brilliant, I just had to grab it. Just grab it when I saw it. Um, it is again a great rare find. New Order's Technique, I this on my list of records I wanted. Oh my god, I can't believe I found this one. Brilliant record. Beautiful album. Mew Order's best dance, probably a great dance album, in my opinion. 
Um, is it the best? Mm, maybe. Custom label. Now this was just fantastic to find on vinyl. Probably one of the best finds ever. It's a brilliant album. You've got some great new order songs on here. You've got Fine Time, Round and Round, Run, Mr. Disco, Vanishing Point. You know, we've got a lot of great new order material. material. What a great album to end, it, to end the decade on. Um, yeah, I think that was actually probably the last great New Order album because the ones that followed weren't as good, but they were you know, not as bad either. But this was the last fine death on like £3. This was, uh, yeah, Pet Shop Boys. It's £3? Yeah, £3. So that means Elton John was £4. Uh, yeah, but so this, was, this was released by Pet Shop Boys. Um, there were two versions of this, was one about £6. I got about a fiver, which I thought was better. But you know what, it's a fantastic album, it's got all of the brilliant Pet Shop Boys hit. It is probably, it's not my favourite, my favourite would, my favourite, I don't know, it's either actually or um, Behaviour would be probably my favourite time between my favourite Pet Shop Boys album. But yeah, this one's got brilliant, this is brilliant. It's got, you know, God, all the classic Pet Shop Boys songs. Um, you know, you've got Two Bye Bye Zero, West End Girls, Opportunities, Love Comes Quickly, Tonight's Forever, Violence, I Want to Love Her, Later Tonight, When I Live Together. Uh, just, I didn't say suburbia because suburbia I've heard a lot of times growing up, so you know, it's not my favourite anymore. It's okay now, but the album um, is just almost flawless. Um, inserts. The record itself. It's A and B, side A and side B. But yeah, I just need to glue it a bit. Bit dirty out the um, album, the jacket of the album jacket of course. But so that works brilliantly. And the last full record I got was Elton John's The One. This was like a bit of a why not buy because it's about ten or on eBay and I just bought it. And it's good, it's good, it's good Elton. It's um, probably the, my last Elton find of the year. Because there's not much I really need of Elton. Actually there's a lot I need from him just that um can't find it. This was about ten on eBay. And it's not really that bad. It's, it's okay condition, so yeah. I'll probably be the only version I get of it, because even though it's got the one on it, which is a brilliant, it's a brilliant Elton song, the one. It's probably a, it's one of his best. But yeah, it was great. It was like his proper sort of, you know, after sleeping the past, obviously, it's sort of like his proper comeback album. So for albums, and then I got these two singles on Monday. Um, seven inches, of course, and they are um, Elton John, um, Island Girl, yeah, Island Girl, um, yeah, from Rock of the Westies. It's only a pound. This was in the antique shop, and the B side is Sugar on the Floor, and a seven inch, another again a pound. A seven inch of Kate Bush, Wuthering Heights. That's brilliant. It's cool, that. It's labelled 1977 for some reason. But this is a. The B side is Kite. Both tracks are obviously from the Kick Inside album. So I do have one vinyl. And there, thanks for watching, guys, and that's my October record update. And then will everyone next the for next month no I'm gonna be cutting down a record by maybe well the first coming to um the fellas going to a place uh, going to a um a vintage market so close to me so that's gonna be like my final record fine. There's one record that's been deposited for me in the record shop, so I gotta pick that up sometime as well. But that's be it probably. There won't be a record date update in December, definitely not. So there will be a record update of course in November there'll be like a little short. Um, but there won't be one in December. DVD update probably, because DVDs are cheap now. Mm. <laughs> Records aren't. Records are still a bit higher. But thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>